Manny, yep. you're back again. Oh, I'm glad to be here. I tell you, you're nearly as mad for the punishment as I am. You uh, tramp around all them shows just the same way we do. I love it, love it. You do love oh, it, Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's great, meet some nice people, meet you guys. These are three of your demo machines. These are our three demo machines. At the Royal Welsh, we won the uh, Innovation Award for the it. Kramer with the smart attachment. You know, that is very clever, like, and you could have that set up for your shear grab, which is a multi-use item, yep. but it's only on to throw a few grabs into a feeder, off on, buckets, blah, blah, it's, blah. It's it closes with low pressure, and then once it's locked in, it goes to high pressure. It goes to the high pressure. Yeah, to quite, create your grab quite, or your sweeping brush or whatever. Quite, quite clever. But anyway, yes. so starting back there, yep. we haven't had one of these here before. That's your 60.8. That's our 60.8, which is basically mechanically the same as the KL5518, which you had. We had it, but it was the telescopic That's boom. correct, yeah. That's Loved just... by a cousin of mine so much so that I think he bought one. Yes, he did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. But it's the same machine. Yes, mechanically it's the same. Same engine, same transmission, same hydraulics. Why would you want the loader version, the loader arm version, if you can get the telescopic version and get that extra height? The, the uh, standard loader, loader machine, the arms are uh, more closer to the uh, wheels, so it's a, it's a lot of long, it's more manoeuvrable, and it, you've got less moving parts. So if you just need a loading shovel, which a lot of guys in the south of Ireland love, that's the machine. Well, that's what Cramer were originally. Yes. You go back to three one twos, four one twos, five one twos. Granted, that's they're what, a lot smaller, they were. you know. Yep. And speaking about small machines, right behind me, and we have seen one of these before. We've had you doing yep. demos here, putting her up on one wheel, yep. or up on one wheel off the air, just and, and I'm like, whoa, that's your one four four. That's our KT one four four, one point four ton to uh, approximately four point three meters. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate. I've sitting there, just shot out a little bit in the telescopic. That is an absolutely cracking little machine. It's not for heavy, heavy no. use. It couldn't no. be. No. But 1.4 ton, four meters. We have seen that in action, um, bedding and different yep. things. That's what people seem to, because I'm sure it's light. It's a light machine, uh, three ton. So in theory, it can practically go on a A for Williams. Nearly. Nearly. Without a bucket on. Nearly. Well, it can go on it. Just it can fit on it. Might be legal. Yeah, no, that's correct. But it can that's go correct. on it, and that's the way to take yeah. it. But, but no, but it is, it's at that yeah. kind of level. Yeah. It's not a heavy machine. And we've been selling that machine into agriculture where they have a big machine and need a small machine alongside it. It was replaced in skid steer machines. Yeah. We sell it into uh, garden centres as well, because it's got the versatility to unload a lorry with small pallets of flowers, etc. So it's across the board we're selling that. that machine. If it's more pass, it will lift. I mean, I've lifted, a, I've set ABCs into the back of her van before full. She's working doing yeah, yeah, it, but yeah. I have done it. Yeah, yeah. So it has that versatility of doing that. It's like a second That's machine right, yeah. around the yard. It is. It, it, it's a tight cab for a big man. Yes, you're right. But, but, but we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll, we won't go there. <laughs> We'll, we'll That's let, not necessarily machine's fault. We'll let Adrian drive it round the yard. Aye, it's a bit like <laughs> it's a bit like the old Land Rover Defender. You window out the, the yeah, <laughs> elbow out it. the window of the stair. Yep. But no, it's a great machine. That one there, sitting with the K fifty ball on the back, it's fantastic. We, we found it so handy for, and we're at all the shows with the trailers that we need to take to the shows. It's just hook on and fly around well, the yard. The, the little things that we were doing with it, like. The one thing uh, why we bring that in with the 50 mil ball, because we, we uh, demonstrated in the caravan parks. They can move caravans and park them up in the caravan, it's, and that's why it's got it on. A four-wheel no. steer, caravan, yeah. that would be Yeah, that's, we maneuverable. have caravan parks with that machine doing, purposely doing that job. But then obviously it can turn around, it can lift the grass, move the grass, do yeah. whatever. That's a smart move, I like yeah. that. Yeah. And then, really and truly, the machine that you've been ranting and raving about all year. And we had the predecessor here. We spent about a time with the predecessor. I think Adrian talked us around at that time. Yep. The 407, yep. which is, break that down. Is four, four ton, seven meters. Four ton, see, simple, four yep. ton, seven meters. That's... That's your kind of mainstay into a farm. That's dairy our number farm one machine. selling yeah. machine. The oh, that seven. is your number one. Yeah, that's the top selling machine in the agricultural portfolio. And if you were coming into this yard to Farmer Gareth, and we know he loves his Merlot, yep, that 
that's what you become them with. That that style of machine, yeah. That's the four ton, but you also do a three <coughs> three and a half saying, ton. Well, it's well saying we were doing a bit of silage when it was here. We got him on it. <laughs> 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 we had him on it. Yeah. And he actually was buck raking away even with those tires on, yeah. and she was going well. But the one we had before had a few niggles. Yes. Well, the the one before it had the uh, low cab, mm -hmm. and also the high bonnet. So you had two things against you. And, and the visibility were... to the right was not very good. Now we've uh, given the machine the option of a high cab. At least he's honest. The, the... It wasn't very good. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have the option uh, on that machine of a high cab or a low cab. Is this the high or low? That's the high cab. Right. And also now we have the low bonnet. Aye, the low bonnet's cool. And your wee fancy sticker you're seeing Yeah, there. that was... The that... Ice. But it is, and the visibility out of that machine oh, is it's, very good. It's, there's, we'll say there's one of the best on the market at the moment for visibility yeah yeah we've done a calculation in the factory with the competitors and it's there factory wouldn't mislead Cheat. you no, in no, any no, of that no, information not. like no. no and that's your mainstay yep but what's around that so if i wanted something a little bit smaller so we have a three and a half ton seven meter mm -hmm. we have a three and a half ton six meter and also a three ton seven meter. And are they all following the same pattern? It's exactly the same as that, basically. Same concept. Same, same mechanically the same, looks the same, everything. But we loved the 407 we had before. We loved the maneuverability. Yep. We loved how it drove. We loved the fact that we could set up like three different functions. Yep. We could have one function for heavy duty as fast as we want yep. hydraulics. We could have an, a touch of a button. We could go into a lesser mode where it's like 50 yeah. percent hydraulics yeah and then, you, then you've got slow mode uh, precise mode for lifting delicate things you've and got all that, the return that's, that's all that return that's to all, all of that so basically inside the cab's the same just about yeah the only thing we've changed from uh, the machine you had last time we've now got a cutout in the floor so it's like a ladder to get in as opposed to uh, proper steps where before it was straight up and down so we improved that and uh, we've also uh, improved the boom suspension uh, the boom suspension now uh, works without load and with load. Yeah. On the old machine, it only worked better when it had load in it. Now it works throughout the complete range of the... Makes some uh, difference when you're trying to get down and get a bit of speed going. Yeah, yeah it does that. Um, and the one thing I'll say, jumping back to the loader, the one th concept that is hard, that your eye looks up there and I think pivot machine. It ain't a pivot machine. No. Nope and you keep harping on every time you're here that it's far more stable than any well i do know from driving the 55 8 the last time now drive buck wrecking and the hydrostatic whole thing is a completely different mind yeah, yeah. but i stand by what you say and i love my pivot mm. loaders I, i'm a pivot loader man the stability and that but it just feels so different it just fe it feels wrong but the uh... You, you sat high up as well, but because you've got the four wheel steering, your weight's the, the same all the time, and it makes you feel safe once you get used to it. Oh, it's fun. It, it, it is very, very good, but I say it's a completely different. But if you take that into any yard, and I don't care what competitive machine, and as I say, I am, I am, I'm, I'm so used with pivots, yep. the maneuverability in that is just phenomenal. Yep. The turning circle and that. There is just for the size of the machine, it is uh, it's fantastic. Like. So, then 60.8, what does that mean? Uh, KL Grammar Loader, we've been down that route before. Yeah. Uh, six. 60 six ton tipping load. So, that means it'll pick up six ton, move it around the yard. When it gets to its worst point, then that's its tipping load. So, the tip with six ton on it. So, you're, you're looking at a, a payload, a safe payload of about 4.1, 4.2 ton working on time. What does the dot eight mean? Eight, eight series cabin. It's just an eight series cab, uh, so you've got two doors. These, uh, this is different because they're telehandlers. Yeah. But the uh, eight, we have a five series loaders as well. They only have one door, a little bit more basic. Eight, like a premium cab. You need to have a chat with that Adrian boy. Tell him when he brings them in in the future to make sure he's got the LED light package on them. LED light package now standard. Mm -hmm. But we have, uh, if you see on our... We're soaring Adrian here. <laughs> our, our demo machine there, there has... Uh, the optional LED lights, which are 2,000 lumen. The standard ones are on this machine, which are 1,000 lumen. Yeah. And Kramer's flying for you. Yeah, Kramer's doing very well. We're doing very well in the UK and Ireland. The, uh, the, you know, let's 
call a spade a spade, the, the, the John Deere relationship seems to oh, be... It's been a really good job for us. The but job, that's only going to work if the products work. Look, we've got a good product and I think, you know, John Deere came on board with us, or we went on board with John Deere because we had a good product. Mindy, as always. It's a pleasure, pleasure as always to meet you again. Good man, thank you. Back at HQ.